In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus CuNO3 2, magnesium plus copper 2 nitrate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. When we look at this, the molecular equation is already balanced, so we don't have to do that. Then we need to write the state for each substance. Magnesium, that's a metal, so it'll be a solid. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble, so that's going to be aqueous, strong electrolyte dissociate into its ions when we put it in water. Copper is a metal, and then we have magnesium nitrate, very soluble, AQ. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We don't need to split magnesium, that's just magnesium. So we'll put Mg, and I won't write the states, we'll do that at the end. Copper, we don't know the charge, it's a transition metal, but we can look at the nitrate, which is always one minus. We have two of them, copper has to be two plus. That's why we called it copper 2. So we have a copper 2 ion plus we have two nitrate ions. So 2 NO3 minus. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have copper, Cu, plus magnesium in group 2, 2 plus. We said the nitrate always 1 minus. So we'll have magnesium 2 plus, the magnesium ion, plus we'll have two nitrate ions. This is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we don't really interested in them. The only thing I see in the reactants that's the same in the products, these two nitrate ions right here. So we'll cross those out and that'll give us our net ionic equation for Mg plus CuNO3 2. I'll clean it up and add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium plus copper 2 nitrate. You'll notice charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus on this side and a 2 plus on this side. Mass is also conserved. We have a magnesium atom on both sides and a copper atom on both sides. So that's it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.